Hello guys, how are y'all doing? I hope y'all are doing very great. So in this video, I am going to show you how you can use invalid pseudoclass to show the validation error without using any JavaScript. And it's super duper easy. As you can see I have this simple input text tag element. Now let's write a regex so that it only accepts text and no number. So for that, you can write pattern and that regex. That way it only accepts text and if you type any numbers, it will be invalid. It will be invalid, but if you type any number you won't see anything yet. You can try. See we are not seeing any invalid message. Now let's write some CSS to it. You can use invalid pseudoclass to the input tag. You can use invalid pseudoclass this way. And here I am just going to say, if it is invalid, increase the padding of input box to 100 pixel and let's see what we get. Now just refresh the page or if you are using server, don't and let's see, does the padding increases if is invalid. Just type the text and add a number and see the result. See the padding is increasing because I added the number. Now I am sure you won't be increasing the padding of the box for invalid. So let's change the CSS of invalid. We are gonna do simple shaking animation if it is invalid. For that just write this code. Here I am just creating the animation with name shake, duration of 0.2 second and infinite time. Now let's write that animation. I didn't want to waste your time so I simply wrote that animation. It just says at 25% animation duration move to the right, at 50% of the animation duration minus 10 pixels to the left that is its original position and at 75% of the animation duration, the element is translated 10 pixels to the right again. As you can see it is working perfectly, and also you can change the animation repetition to any number. Now let's add some more CSS to it. If it is invalid, change the border color to red. Now let's just refresh it and check how it looks. See how easy it is to do validation. You can write any regex pattern and do validation. Now instead of regex, you can add invalid class to all input tags type like URL, email, number, just delete the pattern and change the type to email or URL or anything. Now let's check if it works or not. See it is showing invalid, just because that isn't email. Just type email and you won't see any errors. Also here you are seeing the invalid message right from the start. Here you can use JavaScript to debounce it after some time and that way you can create awesome login pages. So thank you for today friends. Please comment on like how I can improve my videos and what I can do right to make them more awesome for you guys. And also please subscribe. Please please. And ask any questions in the comment and thank you again for today friends and I will see you on the next one.